चैप्टर नंबर थर्टीन मैग्नेटिक इफेक्ट ऑफ इलेक्ट्रिक करेंट इन द चैप्टर ट्वेल्थ ऑन इलेक्ट्रिक इलेक्ट्रिसिटी भी स्टडीड अबाउट द अबाउट द हिटिंग इफेक्ट ऑफ इलेक्ट्रिक करेंट वट कुड बी द सम अदर अदर इफेक्ट ऑफ इलेक्ट्रिक करेंट वी नो दैट एन इलेक्ट्रिक करेंट कैरिंग वायर एक्ट लाइक ए मैग्नेट लेट एस लेट एस डू द फ्लोविंग एक्टिविटी टू रेन फोर्स इट we observe that we observe that the needle is uh, deflected when it does what it does it mean it it means that the electric current across the uh, copper wire has generated wire has generated a magnetic effect thus we thus we can say that uh, magnetism and electricity are linked to each other each other then what about the reverse possibility of uh, an electric effect of moving magnets in this chapter we will learn magnetic fields and the electromagnetic effects we shall we shall also uh, learn about uh, electric motor and electromagnets which involve the magnetic effect of electric current and electric generates which consists which consists the electric effect of moving magnets magnetic field and field lines we are familiar uh, with the fact that a compass needle is deflected when brought close to a bar magnet in fact a compass needle is a small bar magnet the ends of uh, of the compass needle point approximately towards the south and north directions the end direction the end directing towards north is called north seeking or north pole the other end that directs towards south is known south seeking or south pole through 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 different activities we have observed uh, that uh, like uh, poles ripple while unlike uh, poles of uh, magnets attract each other the iron fillings arrange themselves in a pattern as so in figure why do the iron uh, fillings arrange in this uh, type of a pattern what does what does this pattern demonstrate the magnet exerts its influence in the region around it the region around it therefore the iron fillings express a force the force thus exerted makes iron fillings to arrange in such a pattern the reason surrounding a magnet in which the force of the magnet can be experienced is said to be to have a magnetic field the lines along which the iron filling uh, fillings align uh, themselves so the magnetic field lines fillings align themselves so the magnetic field lines are they are there other waves of producing magnetic field uh, magnetic field Uh, lines around a bar magnet yes you can yourself you can yourself draw the field lines around a bar magnet magnetic field is a quantity that has both magnitude and direction the direction of the magnetic field can be represented by the direction in which the north pole of the compass needle moves inside it therefore it is taken by convention that the field lines emerge from north pole and emerge at the south pole observe the arrows marked on the field lines in above the direction of a field lines is from its south pole to its north pole inside the magnet thus the magnetic field lines are like a closed curves the relative extent of the magnetic field is represented by the degree of closeness of the field lines the field is stronger stronger and that is the force acting on the pole of another magnet kept is greater where the field lines are crowded 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 no two field lines no two field lines are found to cross one another if they did Uh, it would uh, it, it would so that uh, at the point of uh, intersection intersection the compass needle would direct towards uh, two directions which is impossible magnetic field due to a uh, current carrying conductor in activity 1 we have observed that an electric current across a metallic conductor produces a magnetic field around it in order to to find the direction of the field generated let us repeat the activity in the following way flowing way magnetic field magnetic field to due to a current through a, a state conductor a state conductor a state conductor what it determines what it determines the pattern of the magnetic field produced by a current across a conductor does the pattern does the pattern depend on the shape of the conductor we shall we shall find out this with the help of an activity we shall first consider the pattern of the magnetic find field around a, a state current carrying a conductor carrying conductor what happens to the uh, deflection what happens to the to the de deflection of the compass needle keep needle kept at a given point if the current flowing across the copper wire is changed to see this change so to see uh, this change the uh, current is the wire 
the current is the wire we find that the deflection in the needle also changes if the current is increased in fact the deflection in fact the deflection also increases it shows that the magnitude of the magnetic field generated at a given point increases as the current across the wire increases what happens to the uh, deflection of the needle if the compass is moved away from the uh, copper wire but the current across the wire remains the same to observe to observe uh, this now keep the compass at the farther point from the conducting wire say so at point q what change do you see we observe that the deflection in the needle decreases thus the magnetic field generated by a given current through the conductor decreases as the distance from it decreases from figure it can be observed that the uh, concentric, concentric uh, circles representing the magnetic field around a straight wire carrying a current become larger and larger as we uh, move away from it right hand thumb rule a convenient way of finding the direction of a magnetic uh, magnetic field associated with a conductor carrying current h given in the flowing given in the flowing magnetic field due to a current through a circular loop circular loop we have so far noticed the pattern of the magnetic field uh, lens uh, lens generated around a current carrying a straight wire consider the straight wire is bent in the form of a circular loop at a, and a current is passed across it how would the magnetic field lines appear if we know that the magnetic field is generated by a straight wire carrying current depends inversely on the distance on the distance from it similarly similarly at every point of a circular loop carrying current the concentric circles representing the magnetic field around it would become larger and larger uh, larger as we move away from from the wire we reach at the center of the circular loop by the time the arcs of these big big circles would look as straight lines every point on the current carrying wire would produce the magnetic field appearing as straight lines at the at the center of the loop by applying the right hand rule it is easy to find that every section of the wire contributes to contributes to the magnetic field lines in the same direction within the loop we know that the magnetic field generated by a current carrying a wire at a given point depends directly directly on the current passing across it across it across it therefore if therefore if there is a time as large as uh, that uh, generated by a single turn this is because the current flowing through each circular turn has the same direction and uh, the field due to each turn then just adds up add up magnetic field magnetic field due to current due to a current is a solenoid a coil having many circle many circle turns of uh, Insulated copper wire, wire wire wrapped closely in the shape of a cylinder is known as a solen solenoid. Solenoid the pattern solenoid the pattern of the magnetic field magnetic field lines around the solenoid carrying current is so in figure compare the pattern compare the pattern of the field with the magnetic field around a bar magnet do do they look similar to each other yes they are similar in fact one in fact one end of the solenoid acts as a magnetic north pole while the other behaves as the south pole the field lines inside the solenoid are arranged in the form of a parallel straight lines a straight lines this shows that the magnetic field is similar at all points inside the solenoid inside the slide that is that is the filter inside the slide is uniform is uniform a straight magnetic a, a straight magnetic field generated inside a slide uh, can be used to ma magnetize magnetize a piece of magnetic material such as a soft iron when kept inside the coil the magnet is so made is known as an electromagnet force and uh, force on a current carrying a conductor in a magnetic field we have studied that an electric current of flowing across a conductor conductor produces a magnetic field the field so generated exerts a force and, a, a, and on a magnet keep keep in keep in keep in the magnetic vict, vicinity of the conductor french french scientist in their maria ampere 1775 to 1836 said the said that the said that the magnet must also exert the uh, exact an equal and uh, opposite force on the conductor conductor carrying current conductor carrying current the force exerted due to a magnetic field acting on a current carrying conductor can be demonstrated by the flowing activity flowing activity this displacement this uh, the displacement of the rod uh, rod in the activity given above would indicate that a force is exerted on the current carrying uh, aluminum rod 
It is once again observed that the direction of a force acting on the road carrying a current gets reversed. It indicates that the direction of of the force of on the on the conductor on the conductor depends upon the direction of a magnetic field and the direction of the current experiments have represented that the displacement of the rod is largest or the magnitude of the force is angles of uh, angles to the direction of the magnetic field in such a condition we can use a simple rule to uh, to get the direction of the force on the conductor in activity 7 we considered the direction of the magnetic field and that of the current perpendicular to each other uh, other and found that the force is perpendicular to uh, to both of them the three directions can be uh, can be illustrated by a simple rule known as Fleming's uh, left hand rule according to this uh, rule uh, stretch the uh, forefinger thumb and the middle figure of your left hand is in such a way that uh, they are mutually perpendicular if the first finger directs in the direction of a magnetic field and the sound and the second figure in the direction of a current then the thumb will point in in the force acting on the conductor or the direction of motion devices 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 that use current carrying conductors and magnetic field magnetic fields include electric motor loud speakers loud speakers loud speakers, speakers electric generator microphones and measuring instruments in the next few sections we shall learn about electric motors and generators and generators answer is option d the direction of a force is perpendicular perpendicular to the direction of magnetic field and current as suggested by Fleming's left hand rule recall that the direction of a current is taken opposite to the direction of motion of electrons therefore the force is directed into the page electric motor electric motor and electric motor is a, is a rotating is a rotating device that changes electrical energy to mechanical energy electrical electric uh, motor is used as an important uh, component in electric fans mixers refrigerators computers washing machines mp3 players uh, etc do you know how an electric motor operates an electric motor as shown in figure consists of a, a rectangular coil abcd of insulated copper wire the coil is kept between the two poles of a magnetic field is such a way that the arm ab and cd are perpendicular to the direction of the magnetic field the ends of the coil are joined to the two always p and q of a split ring the inner sides of which always are insulated insulated and connected to an axle to an axle the external the external conduct the external conducting s of p and q touch two conducting stationary brushes x and y respectively respectively as represent respectively x and y respectively as represented in the figure current in the coil current in the coil abcd enters from the surface sur, uh, from the source battery across the conducting brush x and uh, uh, flows back to the battery Across the brush, brush Y, observe that the current in arm AB of the coil flows from A to B. In arm CD, it flows from C to D. That is opposite to the direction of a current across the arm AB. On applying Fleming's left hand rule for the direction of a force ion current carry conductor. In a magnetic field, we find that that the force acting on arm CD pushes it upwards while the force acting on arm AB pushes it downwards thus the action o and the coil mounted mounted free to burn free to turn about an axis rotated anti clockwise at a half rotation p uh, p makes con contact 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 with the brushes brush y and q with brush x therefore the current in the coil gets reversed and flows reverse it and flows across the path this be a device a device that uh, reverses the direction of a follow of a current across the circuit is circuit is known as a commutator commutator in electric motors the spilt the spilt rings behaves as a commutator the reversal of a current also reverses the direction of a force acting on the two on the two arms cd and ab thus the arm ab of the coil that that watch that 
that was uh, the direction of a flow of uh, current uh, across a, a circuit is known as a commutator in electric motors the spilt ring behaves as a commutator the reversal of a current also reverses the direction of a force acting on the two on the two arms to city and ab thus the arm ab of the coil that was previously pushed down is known pushed up and the arm city earlier pushed up each known pushed down down therefore the axle and the coil rotator have Rotate half a half a turn more in the same direction. The reversing the reversing of the current is repeated at each half rotation. Let's do a continuous. Let's do a continuous rotation to to the coil and to the axle. The compression motors the compression motors use large amount large numbers of turns of the conducting wire in the current carrying the coil and electromagnet in place or or permanent 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 magnet and and a soft iron. core on which the coil is wound, wound the soft iron core uh, on which the coil is wound pulse pulse the coils it's a known as as an uh, armature this enhances the power of the motor electromagnetic induction electromagnetic induction we have learned that when a current when a current carrying conductor is kept in a magnetic field such that the direction of a current is perpendicular to the magnetic field it expresses a force this force results in the conductor to move now let us consider a situation in which a conductor is moving inside a magnetic field or a magnetic field is varying around a fixed conductor what will happen This was first studied by English physicist Michael Faraday in 1831. Faraday made an important breakthrough by discovering how a moving how a moving magnet can be used to produce electric currents. So to see this effect, let us do the flowing activity. Flowing activity. A galvanometer is a device that can detect the presence of a current in a circuit. The pointer remains at zero. The center of the scale for zero current flowing across it. It can detect either to the right or to or to can detect either to the right or to the left of the zero mark depending on the direction of a current. You can check that if you had moved the south pole of the magnet towards the end B of the coil, the deflections in the galvanometer would just be opposite. to the el area case when the magnet and the coil are both stationary there is no deflection to take place in the galvanometer thus it is clear from this activity that motion that motion of a magnet with respect to the coil generations generates generates an include generate generates an include uh, potential and include potential difference which sets up an up an integrated electric current in the circuit Let us now do a variation, variation, variation of activity eight in which the uh, moving magnet is uh, replaced by a current carrying coil, and the current in the coil can be changed. In this activity, we notice that as soon as the current in coil one reaches either a steady. Either a steady value or zero, the galvanometer in coil two gives uh, no direct, uh, no deflection. Gives no deflection from the observations. We say that a potential difference is produced in the coil two. Whenever, whenever, whenever the electric current across the coil one is changing, starting or stopping. Coil one is known as the primary coil, and coil two is known as the secondary coil. As the current in in the first coil varies, the magnetic field associated with the with it also. With it also changes. With it, uh, with it also changes. Thus, the magnetic field lines around the secondary coil also vary. Hence, the change is um, change in magnetic field lines related to the secondary coil is the cause. Is the cause. Is the cause of produced electric current in heat. This process by which is changing, which is changing magnetic field in a conductor generates a current in another conductor is known as electromagnetic induction. In practice, we can induce we can induce current in a coil either by by moving it in a magnetic field or by varying the magnetic field around it. In most situations, it is convenient to move the coil in a magnetic field. The induced current is found to be the highest when the magnetic field is at right angles to the deflection direction of motion of the coil. In this situation, we can use a simple rule to find the directions direction 
of the introduced canine stretch the thumb middle finger and four finger of right hand so that they are perpendicular to each to each other as you saw in figure if the four finger points the direction of the magnetic field and the thumb indicates the direction of motion of a conductor then the middle finger will give the direction of a introduced canine which is simple rule is known as a plumbing plumbing right hand rule electric electric generator electric generator electric generator on the basis electric generator on the basis of the phenomena of electromagnetic induction the experiment studied above produced induced current which is usually various mode this principle is also employed to generate a large current for use in industries and home in an electric generator mechanical energy is used to rotate a conductor in a magnetic field to generate electricity an electric generator as shown in figure is made up of a rotating rectangular coil a b c d placed between the two poles of a permanent magnet the two ends the two ends of that coil are connected connected to the two rings r1 and r2 respectively the inner side of these rings are made up of an insulated substance the two conducting stationary brushes b1 and b2 are kept are kept placed separately separately respectively on the rings r1 and r2 the the two rings r1 and r2 are internally uh, inertially connected to an axle the the axle may be mechanically mechanically rotated from outside the rotate rotate the coil inside the magnetic field outer ends of the two brushes are attached to the galvanometer to the galvanometer to show the flow of a current in the external circuit when the axle connected to the uh, to the two rings are rotated in such a way that the arm ab moves up and uh, the arm cd moves down in the magnetic field created by the permanent magnet let us say the coil abcd is rotated clockwise in the arrangement represented represented into the figure by applying fleming's right hand rule the induced currents are generated in which arms along the direction ab and cd and when you set a current it thus flows in the direction abcd if there are larger numbers of turns in the coil a it the current produced the current produced in each turn adds up to give a large current across the coil this is so 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 that the current is the in the external circuit uh, flows flows from b2 to, to b1 after half a rotation arm ab starts ab starts moving down and cd moving up as a result the direction of the induced currents in both the arms change producing the net induced current in the direction of the induced currents in both the arms change producing the net induced current in the direction uh, dcba thus the current in the external circuit now flows from b1 to b2 hence after every half rotation the polarity of the current in the respective respective arms changes such a current time is known as an alternating current abbreviated as ac this device is known as ac generated a split ring type commutator must be used to get a direct current dc which does not change its direction with time with this arrangement one brush remains at all times in contact with the arm with the arm moving up in the field while the other each the contact with the arm moving down we observe we have observed the working of a split ring commutator commutator in the case of an electric motor thus you you unit directional current is generated the generator is thus known as a dc generator the difference the difference between the alternating and and direct currents is that the direct current always flow in one direction whereas the alternating current per, um, periodically reverse uh, its uh, direction most power stations uh, constructed uh, this day uh, produce ac in india the ac reverse uh, domestic uh, electric uh, electric circuits uh, we receive supply of electric uh, power across a main supply also called mains either supported across our head electric poles or by underground cables in our homes one of the wires in this supply usually with red insulation cover it is known as a leaf wire or positive another wire with black insulations is known as a natural wire or negative in india the potential difference between the two is 220 20 volt in the house at the meter board uh, this uh, virus uh, pass into an electricity meter by a main fuse 
through the means which they are attached to the line wires in the house this wires provide uh, electricity to separate circuits within the house often to separate circuits are used one of 50a current rating for applicants with high power rating like air coolers gas it is the other circuits is of 5a current rating of fans bulbs it is is usually attached to a metal plate deep in the earth near the house this is used as a safety measure mainly for those appliances that have a metallic body like like refrigerator electric pressure table fan toaster it is the give the metallic body is connected to the earth wire which gives a low resistance conducting path for the current thus if thus if makes sure that any leakage of current to the metallic body of the appliance keeps its potential to that of the earth and the user make note may not get a serve server electric show given figure represents a schematic diagram of uh, one of the common domestic circuits in each uh, separate circuit different applicants can be connected through the lever and uh, uh, live and natural wires each appliance has separate uh, the live and natural wires uh, switch to on on off the flow of current across across it in case in case which each appliance has an equal potential difference then they are connected in parallel to each other electric fuse is a necessary component of all domestic circuits we have already learnt the the principal and working of a fuse in the chapter 12 see section 12.7 a fuse in a circuit prevents damage to the appliances and the circuit from overloading or loading can take place when the natural wire and the live wire come to a direct contact this happens when the insulations of wires wires is damaged or there is a fluid fault in the appliance in such a situation the current flowing through the current to through the circuit through the circuit apparently increases this is known as short short circuiting short circuiting the use of an electric is known as short circuiting the use of an electric fuse prevents the appliance and the electric circuit electric circuit from a possible damage by stopping the flow of unduly uh, uh, high electric current the joule hitting the Uh, hitting that occurs in the fuse melt melts it to it to the next discon, uh, disconnect the electric circuit or over, overloading uh, can also take place take place due to an accidental hike accidental hike in the supply voltage sometimes overloading is occurred by connecting too many appliances to a single is a single socket